Good afternoon, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the market wrap up for today. It is Friday, it is July 14th, it is 3.16 uh, uh, p.m. Eastern Time and we're an hour away from the close. Today, price action. What we saw today was a big spike to the upside pre-market before the New York trading session opened following the 8.30 numbers. We also had three major banks that reported earnings today, that as well, Fargo, JP Morgan, and Citibank. Um, overall, we're having a bull sandwich pattern on the monthly chart that can assure continuation to the upside, more upside into uh, 59.07. This is the all time high. So far, we're trading into a heavy area of resistance. We've had a lot of issues with trading the NASDAQ at 5,800 because of this resistance that was formed back in June 23rd. Uh, the market propelled higher into the lunch session following uh, following the London close. As you can see here, the market was literally basing, uh, not taking out the prior day high. Literally, this is the time of day when pretty much everything is wrapped up for a rally to continue in late hours of the afternoon. Two o'clock Eastern time is when the market uh, has made a new high on the day at 58 of a 42.54 NASDAQ pullback, setting a very heavy trend to the upside. So once again, this happened during the lunchtime period. Uh, also for the Imini Dow, Imini Dow Industrial Average, and we're going to start with the top down is setting of the uh, is has just set a new record high 21,593 um more upside into 21,600 and 21,645 these are levels that were mentioned up actually pre-market uh, also on the weekly chart we see a break of a four week high at 21,500 and this was a big issue 21,400 21,500 for the last few trading sessions these were the key parameters finally broke to the upside 21,500 uh, held support level it was a very tough area even though we knew that the bias was higher over 21,500, it was a very choppy area. You could see here that from the very, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, from the very early hours in the morning, nine o'clock Eastern time, the price shot down, uh, taking out all the support levels that were set at 21,500, 21,490, setting a new low just right here, below 21,475, washing every possible long, for the upside, this is algorithmic trading at its best. This is what they do best. They clear all the stops before continuing higher. And we could see here that once it traded above 21,524, it ignited to the upside, setting a new record high. Moving forward into the next week, we will look for more upside momentum. However, the market literally needs to digest this uh, afternoon move, uh, late afternoon move in the market, uh, any pullback up to this move into the 550 area will be seen as a corrective move for a sustainable area that can push price once again back to the upside. All right, let's continue with the mini S&P 500. mini S&P 500 has been lagging, although today has been showing signs of bullishness, but in terms of risk to reward level, it had an increased risk for today. It had really wide, wide stops. Uh, setting a new high, 2458.50, right at this moment, just uh, barely a minute ago, a few seconds ago, clearing the range here, a range that has been going on since the end of May. So right now, clearing for the first time this range, setting the stage for a new target into the 2500. This is the new target area for the S&P 500. Also, moving into CL. Oil has been continued to trade very, very choppily, although we have, have seen uh, a bull sandwich in development here. However, it is trading in a very, very choppy manner. Take a look at the bars on the hourly chart. Extreme volatility taking the price from 46.10 all the way into these highs of 46.73. Uh, increased increased risk you can see the increased risk even on small time frames it is very very hard to determine very tight stops and all however the way it is setting up 
on minor time frames we can see that we have a support level that has been that uh, has been developing uh, over the last hour or so at 4630 heavy resistance however overhead resistance at 4665 into the 74 however if we clear this area we can have a clear shot into the 4725 which is this prior high on the daily chart and this would lead the way for a more clear path and uh, perhaps not so much uh, volatility uh, and uh, and uh, 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 extreme volatility volatility and also the these increased risk sizes that can lead the price back into these prior highs at 4838 and also into this high of 4950 uh, one look at GC uh, and uh, this is gold uh, gold had has had a very a significant spike to the upside uh, at eight o'clock. Um, this is a strong support area. We've been talking about this uh, this twelve thirty area, and this is what we're uh, we're dealing with right now. If you recall, in the pre market game plan for the last few trading sessions, I have mentioned the fact that I'm looking for a possible swing trade, but I'm wait waiting for the price to spike up into the twelve thirty area, pull back form a support level uh, into the 24 into the 1224 1225 for a possible continuation higher so far uh, we have an overhead resistance right here at 33 this is the area over here at 12 to 1230 1233 you could see that we have uh, two moving averages that are putting a lot of selling pressure on price at this point the more we consolidate at this level the more we will have odds of breaking above this heavy congestion area here at 1234 1235 so this is a very critical area make it or break it so like I said the first shot was to see it uh, to see gold trade into the 1230 area consolidate any consolidation here or pull back into the 1225 may represent a good risk to reward ratio for a swing trade so we will look for the parameters possibly a trade over 1230 with a stop at 1225 it is not set yet so this is not an official call we will wait for price action to develop some more and give us more information on how to uh, how it will trade also rty new kid on the block um not so new but it w under a new symbol russell 2000 was trading a, uh was trading it uh have, was switched from cme to ice uh, back in February and now back uh, to uh, it is trading back at CME under a new symbol RTY so we've had one week of RTY we've had uh, actually um, well actually we've had only four days of four or five days of trading well actually one two three four five days of trading okay five days of trading as you could see here we do not have continuous data uh, that was data was not transferred from uh, ice and you could see the monthly chart weekly chart does not give us any kind of clue or any kind of information uh, so far we are seeing uh, we're seeing a move to the upside and over uh, over here on the early chart clearing the range of the 1430 range literally Russell has been doing literally nothing for the last uh, six months or so because it has been ranging the switch back and forth um, and not a lot of market participants in this in mini however as we progress we we're gonna get more data and we will put RTY back on the map on our watch list also last but not least I'm gonna take a look at bonds bonds have been stabilizing at a hundred uh, at 152 level and this remains the threshold for them right now as of this moment uh, they have reached an area of resistance at 153.17 you could see it from this prior uh, from this this prior low uh, that was said on June 13 set the stage for the resistance area over here also we're seeing the moving averages that are closing in um, and that are putting a lot of setting selling pressure at this level right here at this uh, 153.13 however if we manage to break above this level that would assure a choppy trading environment over 154 and into the 154 area and this is going to be another decision point so uh, this is going to be extremely difficult to trade at this point even back and forth so far we're having today we we today we had an inside day yesterday we had an inside day the breakout actually happened 
on the 12th, the break of the 152 level, continuation higher into the 153, and now back down to 152. Once again, we revisited this area of 152, so there's no commitment on the long side. There's just strong algo trading looking by the volatility that we have right here. All right, so I wish everybody uh, uh, a safe and happy weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday for more trading ideas. And also, I'll wait for you at 9 o'clock with a pre-market game plan. Thank you, and have a good weekend.